All right, good morning. It is three o'clock in the morning, and behind me you see Alex and Cynthia. Three o'clock in the morning here on Thursday. Um, we were packing all day yesterday on Wednesday, getting the dogs to the uh, kennel. And uh, so we uh, dropped off a car for Nicholas, my oldest son, so you have the car for three months while we're going on our tour. And uh, then we woke Sasha up, the middle son, and he was kind enough to take us to the airport at 2.30 in the morning, 2 o'clock in the morning. So anyway, it's 3 o'clock. We're just waiting for security to open up. And we'll be on our way to Las Vegas and then on to Long Beach with any luck. That's all I have for right now. But uh, I thought we'd start off the day. 3 o'clock in the morning here at BWI Airport. All right, so our trip starts out with the first canceled flight. So the flight we plan to take this morning canceled to Las Vegas. Um, so we are moving on to a flight to Charlotte. It's a through flight. It makes two stops in Charlotte and goes to uh, St. Louis and on to Long Beach. So hopefully that works out for us. Let's hope they don't cancel the Charlotte flight. If they do, we'll try to catch a flight to St. Louis and catch hopefully a flight out of St. Louis. We'll see how that works out. It should be a non-stop out of there in about 16 seats. All right, off to B2. That way. All right, it is uh, Thursday morning. Our flight canceled still. We're now at the new gate, waiting to get on to Charlotte. Looks like 12 open seats. Here's Alex. Um, there's six listed, three, three of them is us. So we should be able to get on. This is a through flight, goes to Charlotte, St. Louis, and Long Beach. And uh, looks like 16 seats maybe out of uh, St. Louis and then we should be good. Anyway, it's time for breakfast and so we're heading down to the food court here in uh, Baltimore to get something to eat before we go on the flight. All right, Alex, what did you choose for breakfast? Uh, McDonald's. McDonald's, we're gonna get a big breakfast. Yep, big breakfast. Big breakfast again, just like in Denver earlier this week. There it is right there. There's a Chinese place and Chipotle is not open yet. That's pretty much it. Choices for breakfast here. Chick-fil-A. Alright, we just got cleared for, uh, for boarding. We got our boarding pass. And there's Cynthia and Alex. Very tired because of no sleep for a day and a half. But uh, we should be good to go all the way through to, um, to Long Beach. All right, we're making progress, Alex. You gonna sleep on the flight? Nope. Mask on. Not the Buckies. Nope. All right. Okay. So yes, uh, we're, we made the flight. It's gonna be a full flight. People getting on. But, uh, so, uh, stop uh, Charlotte and then St. Louis, and this afternoon we'll be uh, Long Beach, hopefully. Yay. minutes and take off for St. Louis. That's it. 
St. Louis is next. Alright, so we're stopped here in St. Louis. Um, this is our last stop before we go on to uh, Long Beach. Um, I think all three of us uh, hit the restroom here. The nice thing is the aircraft is really empty uh, for the uh, 30 minutes or so that um, that we're parked here. So that was really it was a nice little break in the last two spots. But anyway, uh, next flight, I trust it's going to be like should be like three hours, so two and a half, three hours. Uh, we should be there. Long Beach. 20, 27 through people on this flight. Um, most of them moved up to the front. Um, and it should be pretty much a full flight. It's probably going to be like um, 10 seats open, maybe 8 seats open. So it'll be a full flight. I love Arkansas! I Right. This is a seriously slow flight. Totally packed. Everyone had big, big carry-ons. And um, then uh, up here, someone didn't take their um, their bottle out, the water bottle out, and spilled all in the bin up above. Unfortunately, Cynthia's backpack was up there. Which, which already a flight attendant told me to keep the bag in this bin, and then she moved it because she wanted to put her brown bags in could have known that someone would leave so the one she moved it to water was the one that had water. In their backpack, and as so, they put it sideways, of course, it spilled. Anyway. Then it started dripping down from where the handles are. It started dripping down. So we're just glad we're not sitting under that rain rain spout right now. So when so when the plane takes off and the water rolls back down, oh, my bag will still my bag will still get something. Oh well, that, that'd be yeah. sad for your bag, but right. that'd be funny for the people. Anyway, yeah, you can't win. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's right, we're ready it. for takeoff. Time the front door is closed. Make sure all those electronic devices are in airplane mode.
the lipid vest that is located in a pouch underneath your seat. You've been instructed to remove that pouch from its container, open it up, remove the vest, placing it then over your head, wrapping that black strap around your... So today it looks like it's one of those rare days uh, where we actually have a clear, clear sky. I can actually see out and see below in the Inland Empire here approaching Los Angeles. So that bin up there that we pointed out where the guy left his uh, water bottle, put it down sideways. The whole thing got wet from here. Everything from here, totally, I mean, almost wringing out wet down Well, it is, because now the seat's wet wherever yeah. it's sitting. Very frustrating. Yeah, we shouldn't have left it in there. Hindsight, of course. I told you, I said, as soon as it takes off, the water will pour. I did. All right, here in Burbank, we got to do the ramp thing. So we're going down the ramp. Right behind me is Alex. Well, I think he's behind me. Here he is. Here's our jet. All right, this is the first time deep planing with the, um, with the air bridge. in just a little bit. I gotta focus on where I'm going. Yeah, All right, so we just pointed out that it is rather pretty here. If you look at all the palm trees. And here's our plane. Take a deep breath, Patrick. Our jet is right there. I'm share with everybody. Our jet is yeah. right there. We just walked in yeah. from outside. Sunny California. They had a whole bunch of... Well, yeah, other, other than, than the LA. LAX airport, yeah. All right, baggage claim. We're gonna to try to find a uh, Lyft or Uber and uh, get to our hotel.
right. And this appears to be the baggage claim right here. So if you have bags, they'll come right out on this belt outside and pick them up. All right, we're gonna go scan the shade here and call the Lyft or Uber. Yeah, one of those rare days again for the sun to be out and clear sky and this is the Long Beach Airport right here. Ticketing. All right. That's the family right there. Okay, very tired, but we made it. Our car should be here in a moment. We just arrived here at the Vagabond Inn. And uh, this is what the beds look like. The carpet looks clean. The room was cool. The air conditioner was working. Um, let's take a look at the bathroom. It looks originally small. It's an older hotel. But it looks clean, I think, for the, from what I can tell so far. Um, the only trick was we had to give a hundred dollars cash deposit which we get back on checkout they say this is a non-smoking room um, but there's two queen beds so the beds are big I have no idea what they feel like that's it we're gonna get freshened up and uh, we'll see where we go from there yeah. and that concludes this episode of Samus Adventures hit like and subscribe and we'll join you again next week